Pro Tools has launched Pro Tools First, which is a free version of Pro Tools, and within it is a range of really exciting free plugins. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at what these free plugins are and the exciting stuff you can do with them. So remember to go to creatingtracks.com for more episodes just like this released every week. So let's make a start. So we have a track that I've created that we're going to use for this exercise. So let's listen to all the instruments. I've done a loop here. We're going to focus on just the acoustic guitar. Right. So we're now going to do some work in the mix window. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, which is command and the equal to sign and go over to the mix window. Over here you've got inserts and we're going to explore all the different brilliant inserts that are available for free in Pro Tools First. So let's go through. You can go here and plug in. The first one on the list is EQ. So you can have a one band or a three band. Let's start with the one band EQ. So we're going to press the space bar to start the music. Now I can choose different types of filters. Here's a high pass. And as you can hear, I can drastically change the sound. If I want more control, I can go into the 7 band EQ. And here i got a heaps more stuff that I can play with. So I can do the same thing. Put a high pass filter. Go over here. Pull it up and listen to where the guitar sounds really funky. Love what's happening there, and then I can maybe take that down and really change the sound. So, as you can see, I can do heaps of brilliant EQ stuff with the free EQ3 7 band. So we can now move into dynamics, and we've got the compressor limiter, which is really useful. So you've got to look and see these little red dots, and look at the threshold line there. So when it's red, it means it's compressing it all the time. If it's white, it's not doing much work. So let's get it compressing a little bit. Now I can adjust the gain. I can change the release time, the attack time, the knee, and the ratio as well. If I want to get fancy, I've even got a side chain that's already included here, and I've got visuals as well on what to do. The next one we're going to look at, and you've got also got some settings by the way over here in factory default, and it just choose the instrument you want and let Pro Tools do their work, and it'll sound brilliant. I can guarantee you that. Let's look at your DSS. So this won't be very useful with the track we have. But if you have, say, a vocal track with a bit of sibilance happening, then you can use this to change it. We're now going to look at the expander gate, which looks a lot like the compressor, but it's now acting below the threshold rather than above the threshold. But similar kind of features. So that's useful if you've got some low level noise that you want to kind of take out. Then we've got reverb. You've got the mono reverb. You've even got a stereo reverb. Which spreads the signal across the whole field and a whole bunch of settings to kind of play with over here. 
you can choose the kind of setting that you've got and the size of the room as well. Then we've got delay. You can add a bit of modulation there. Add a bit of delay there. We've got a fancier version which is in stereo where you can do the left and the right separately. And then we've also got a time adjuster which is useful say if you recorded an instrument and because of the distance from the mic it's out of touch with everything else you can just use the delay let's listen to everything together you can hear the guitar being just a little bit later when i'm playing with it here so you can If you have to practice a little bit out of sync, you can use this delay just to adjust and get everything syncing together nice and well. So it's a brilliant free tool that you can use. We can now move to Dither. Now Dither, as you know, is mainly going to be useful when mixing down. So if you've got a 24 bit track and you want to go down to say a 16 or an 18 or a 20, then you can use Dither. So there's a normal Dither and there's also a power data, which has a bit more noise shaping in there. So it's really useful when mixing down and when mastering. Then you've got the instruments, which are the click and the expand to, which are covered in the other tutorials on this website. And then you've also got the other, which is a signal generator, which doesn't belong to acoustic guitar, but we'll place it in here for a second. And you've got different sine waves and noise waves that can be created. And then you've got this function called trim, which is useful to trim the volume of the signal. It's getting softer. So if the whole track volume needs to be increased or decreased, you can just use the trim plugin and modify it. Another brilliant tool. So there you have it. That's the whole range of free plugins that come. And if you want some more, you can go to the Abbott Marketplace and buy a whole heap extra. But just among the EQ and the dynamics and the reverb and the delay, you got more than enough to create some brilliant sounding tracks. You just got to spend some time with the help menu, learn how to use them really well, and you can have some great sounding music. Okay, so that's going to be all for today. So I will see you again next week for some more exciting episodes. Goodbye.